So is an Uncrustables a dumpling? <laughs> yes! yes! Oh my god, that's totally well, that, a dumpling. That, I'm leaving, I'm that, leaving. That, that. Is a burrito a dumpling? What about a Hot Pocket or a Calzone? I may shake my head and vehemently disagree with you, but I promise I'll hear you out. You can get to know someone pretty quickly by asking them a single, simple question. What is a dumpling? I thought I'd ask the most die-hard, enthusiastic dumpling fans I know for help answering these very important questions. They call themselves the Dumpling Mafia. It's a local group that includes Chef Shirley Chung, writer Andy Wang, and restaurant consultant and event coordinator Carol Chin. We recently sat down at Shirley's Culver City restaurant, Miss Chi, to eat and talk dumplings. Our conversation took us around the world and back, and even into the universe of NFTs. Carol, what did you bring? So, one of my favorite dumplings is the pork um, spicy wonton from Dumpling Monster. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it's also, we, we had a dinner party at my house, and Chef Perry actually made these in front of our eyes to order your house, to order at my house. Hot, hot so water. there's a little bit of sentiment too. Okay, so I went to Boito Ooh. to get the beef and pork uh -huh. Boito. So, so glad you said those were your favorites. Uh, yeah. And then these are the Shaolin Shaolin Island. Island. That's a part of the SUV that's just like, to me, it's just the best crawl. And it does really make you think about what's a dumpling and what's not, because like you look at the shape of this, and then look you go to Golden Deli are, and you get yeah. a spring roll, well, yeah. and it's just like, it's actually perfect. well, that spring roll's not really a dumpling, but it does kind of look like this, so. Mm -hmm. Well, technically, spring roll is a dumpling, because is it? what's a dump dumpling, I feel, the definition is, has a wrapper and has a filling. Okay. Any filling, any wrapper. Yes. Because I feel like dumpling is also an international word. It's a worldly. So like dumpling is not just means Chinese dumpling. Dumpling means the whole entire world. So it's a momo is a dumpling. Russian a calzone. Correct. A calzone. Uh, I want to mess with it. Cal calzone but, feels like a bread to but, me. That feels but like it's a fish. giant Charlotte, dumpling. Charlotte, is a wrap or a burrito a dumpling? Because you were like, what? I mean, like, because ravioli, maybe okay. Turkish, no, because Turkish monte. Ra ravioli, yeah, does fine. The, does the yeah. size matter then? Size doesn't matter, but burrito is, you're not cooking it. But, but what if you toast it? Baking in a giant. I mean, I, yeah, but what if you toast it? You mean like enchilada? But, but okay, empanada. Yeah. Uh, empanada. 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 Empanada is hundred percent. Empanada is hundred percent. Empanada is a dumpling. But, oh, okay. Okay. Is it a dumpling? <laughs> but, but wait, then. But based on this, that a chimichanga is a dumpling. Yes, because you're deep frying. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Is right. a tamale a dumpling? A hundred percent. That's actually the example I always <laughs> give it to people. I, I feel dumpling is a giant umbrella. It's a worldly giant umbrella for everything that has a wrapper and stuffing and cooked together. Wait, let's eat these. Yes. <laughs> let's eat these dumplings right. while we discuss. Explain what the dumpling mafia is. <laughs> well, there was a time when when you're considered a preschool, so they were, you have that window of time free once you drop them off and before you pick them up. And Miss Chi was under construction, so you had that time free. Right. I was waiting for Tartine to open, so mm -hmm. they, I was I was free too. So we actually have having these week, weekday lunches that we can go at 11.30 and go for dim sum because it's always so crowded on the weekends. But if you go Tuesday at 11.30, you can walk right into almost anywhere. Um, and so it just became the thing. But we'd pick two or three places we wanted to try, and we'd go make an outing, critique, and sort of you know talk about, discuss, and then with the hashtag just started Dumpling Mafia because we just were like <laughs> these people that come in and like take over a place. So it doesn't matter what type of cuisine it is, even like Italian. Yeah, we, we went to Wolvo and ate tortellini. Yes. because we're just like okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the Dumpling Mafia does not discriminate. No, Dumpling nope. Mafia is. Like I said, dumpling is an international umbrella. <laughs> uh, okay, before we get into more different types of dumplings, I want to know what the dumpling NFT is. If you start with what an NFT is, it's a non-fungible token on a digital ledger known as a blockchain. All right, maybe that makes no sense to you. <laughs> maybe that makes no sense to you, but it's a digital ledger, which means it's a public ledger where everybody can go view certain transactions. So it's a way to bestow ownership, and people, what people are using it to do right now are buy, sell, and trade collectibles instead of digital art. Okay. The reason that we have a Dumpling Mafia NFT is because what we're trying to do is just a proof of concept for lots of chefs because if there's something that we can do to like create cool collectibles, unlock perks with it, and also generate even incremental value, it just kind of makes sense. I mean, NFTs are just collectibles that actually let you connect with chefs.
tell me about the different styles, like folds. And okay. like the different styles, because even oh. on the table, we have five yeah. different styles. Jiaozi was invented about 5,000 years ago by a Chinese doctor. In the middle of winter, it was extremely cold. So the original jiaozi was uh, made by Hua Tuo, is actually filled with goji berries and lamb. Um, because medicinal uh, reason right. for lamb and goji berry is all create heat in your body to warm up. And then the reason that it's shaped like a half moon is actually shaped like ear, jiaozi, is because before it's frostbite, so people were losing ears. And then once they made the jiaozi noodle soup, and that soup <laughs> dumpling, and then, well, they served it with hot broth too. So when everybody started eating it, all the people, start, they're not no longer getting frostbite. So people stopped losing their ears. Yes. So that was, or that, that's why the shape was like a year. Okay, so this is Beijing type of dumpling. So this represents, it's called, it's, this shape is called Lian Da Huo Shao. Okay, so this represents a cloth purse yeah. that you kind of drip over your shoulder and you pull both things on both ends. Mm. So it's like balanced. In the, the morning worker that they have to carry the yeah. carrier. So this is the shape like that carrier. So this, this, Ooh, is, this is for labor. So this is that's why they're more hardier, it's thicker skin, and it's also bigger, and it's also easy it's portable. to handle. Mm -hmm. Portable. So yeah, because this is like this is more a breathless dumpling than anything else. It's called Lian Dan. Right, they don't break apart. Okay. Where you go this kind of one time, you go down taste. south. This is more Cantonese style. So this kind of one time, the wrapper has egg in there, so it's nice and thin. It's a little bit more bitey. So because also they like to drown them in sauce and also throw them in soup. So when the egg, the wrapper has egg, it's a lot more sturdy, it doesn't fall apart. And that is the way that they fold it together. It looks like a little fish, but also when it floats around in the water, it also looks like cloud. So one ton means swallow a cloud in Chinese, if you directly translate those two words. I feel like I just watched a special. Um, yeah. like, a dump, like a <laughs> Dumpling University. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Dumpling no, University. You get a degree Literally. in Dumpling University. That was honestly amazing. Shirley, tell us about so the cheeseburger can... dumpling, though, given that this is yeah, your this famous Yeah, this has a good thing. origin story. So this is jumbo cheeseburger plasticers that I made on Top Chef season 14. Yeah? With the bacon tomato jam, the only addition from this sheet is the cheese crisp. Because when you think about cooking a good burger, melting the cheese, Ooh, cheese that lace. cheese cheese skirt. Yes, the cheese skirt. Yes, so it's that so was crucial. But inside is house ground chuck. We ground it a little bit meatier, so more coarse. Mm -hmm. With chunky hand cut red onions to give you that grilled onion slash onion feel in the burger, so mm -hmm. there's texture. And then uh, we blend shredded cheese with the um, oh ground beef <laughs> and a cube of cheddar cheese right in the middle to give you that gooey feeling. And then we purposely make this uh, wrapper a little bit thicker size, so we mm -hmm. hand fold them, and now you can see they're really big. So to really give you, because you think about burger, mm -hmm. like, I really, the bread really counts a lot. A good bread mm -hmm. makes a good burger. Yep. So. Not your typical dumpling, but because the burger is so rich that you need something more sturdy to carry it through. That's why the vessel of this, uh, mm -hmm. the wrapper is thicker. Can we make some dumplings now? Yeah. Will you teach us how to make them? You ready? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna make yeah. my cheeseburger plasticers. So, 500 grams of flour, paprika. Okay. Salt, always you wanna season your dough. About 250 grams of water. Medium to slow speed for six minutes or until nice and smooth. So now we are making cheeseburger plasticers filling. So we buy chuck uh, from Creekstone and then I season with Worcestershire first because I love Worcestershire in my burger. Then I will add salt and pepper, chunky onion. And then you're gonna see this is looks crazy. Is equal part of, <laughs> and then the last thing is canola oil to seal everything together. Okay, ready? So yes. that is filling is ready. Now I'm demonstrate an old school technique that for my grandma. So you make nice. a giant donut first. What you do is you actually making a log. Okay. And then this is the size of our wrapper. I'm gonna make all this into round biscuits, but with palm on my hand. Traditionally, dumpling wrapper, you want thick in the middle and thin outside. So what we do is, my thumb is actually 
guiding it, it stops the rolling right in the middle. Okay, they're not perfectly round. My mom will be judging right now. All right, are okay, we all ready so, to fold? There you go. Okay, so what do you want me? for you? Yes. What do you want for me? <laughs> So the first fold is, okay, use your hand to like kind of manage your feeling a little bit, everyone. Okay. Smush, like smush yeah, smush them, yeah, smush them. Smush. Carol and I both dropped the meat already. Yeah, the rest is very, very dry. Oh, no, well, it's, it okay, it's, warm. It, it's too much. Too much filling. <laughs> too much filling. <laughs> okay, even, you put even, your cube even less right in the middle. Taking some out. Take some. Yeah. Okay, middle first. Middle That's first. your anchor to make a cannoli. All right, I got the middle. Okay, you pinch on the right hand side, the front shorter than the, the back. I got it, I got it, I got yeah, it. Yeah, good. Pinch. Yeah. Switch hand. There you go. Thank <laughs> you. <Okay. laughs> All right. All right, are we cooking now? Yeah, let's cook now. Let's cook. You want to make the bottom flat because the flat side go in the pan first. Half a cup of water is going to go in. Be careful, it's going to splash. And now we close it. Four minutes. We we'll steam the top so the top is nice tender already. So we take off the lid. What it does is all the water needs to evaporate. So we just need to make the bottom round and then this is done. We're kind of light on the beef filling. Yeah. So they're not as giant as the one oh, that we had earlier. Mm. It's a burger. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The possibility for dumpling. Yes. We asked guests from earlier episodes how they would define a dumpling. Here's what they had to say. What constitutes a dumpling? Anything with a filling that's wrapped. So is a burrito a dumpling? Too big. If you toast it. Oh, so there's a side. <laughs> what is a dumpling? What comes to mind right away for me is meat with a shell, but then a matzo ball is a version of it as well. So when we eat dumpling, everyone is very happy and get together and share the love and love each other. So I think, you know, the share the love, that's the little dumpling, I want to share, say that. Uh -huh. Okay, so it's not as much what's in it or it's, it's just who you're eating it with. Thank you so much for watching this season of The Bucket List. We hope you've enjoyed our dumpling adventures and that we've inspired you to go out and explore and share the dumpling love.